Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be creating a Mother's Day card using some products from Trinity Stamps. And I have this um, really beautiful scripty font uh, that I cut out of some plain white cardstock. This is a little bit of a heavier cardstock and I will build my sentiment so I have some dimension. It creates nearly like a shipboard piece. And then I also cut the shadow in um, vellum. And you can see here I have some gold fairies. I will not end up using these cute gold fairies. They will end up on another card. I cut the same, same fairies out of some glitter, black glitter cardstock. And I use that instead. And you could see me here um, cut out a panel as well from some wooded textured cardstock. Um, and that die is called Spring Birch Die. And that is an A7 sides card front um, die. So I needed to create a base that will fit my die cut here. So I'm using, I used to trim down and created my own side folded note card here. And I'm just making sure that I like how this ink blending turns out uh, on top of my front cover here. And I'm using the ink blending tools from Trinity Stamps. I love them. I have been using them for a couple of years and I just love them. You can see I'm going in with quite a heavy hand. This isn't a perfect smooth blend that I'm doing here, but that is okay. We will end up covering a lot of it. And I will also do some splatters in the background and this black border around. So I wanted this to look like um, a fairy like sort of night scene. You can see I messed up a little bit there on the edge, but I will fix that with a white marker later. Uh, and I put my, my tape back here, my post-it note, just because I wanted to do some spritzing and I didn't want to end up messing up the backside of our card. And then I will dry that and I did some black splatters as well when I, when I did this. And here you can see how it looks. So this is, as I said, not the most typical Mother's Day card, but I wanted this to be um, like a magic scene. So that is why I went with this a little bit more um, like darker tones maybe. Uh, usually when I create Mother's Day card, I want them to be really sherry and happy. Uh, but this one, I wanted more of a dreamy look. And I like, I really like how this turned out. And I will use some adhesive to the back side, some liquid adhesive. Um, so this will be laying flat down, but the dimension from uh, this cardstock that is a little bit of like wooden textured, I really think that brought out uh, the texture of the die, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, I didn't think you needed some more dimension for this element, but I will use some um, I stacked my ferrets up a couple of times so you will see that they will be raised up from the surface and the leaves here I didn't put adhesive to all of them I wanted them to be moving a little bit so here is our sentiment and I just went with Mother's Day um, you could say Happy Mother's Day uh, or create another sentiment because there is a lot of them them in the in the set uh, so you can create fun sentiments depending on how you your layout is looking and if you would like to create a slim down card that would be perfect as well you can have them uh, fit on top of that so here is our black fairies I'm just scattering them around and even though I pop them up I will create some more dimension by using foam dots on the back side. Uh, I really like when my elements are popping off the page. Uh, I think it makes the card look a little bit more finished. So there it is. I will finish this off with some teeny tiny um, iridescent stars from Trinity Stamps. You can see I'm using the jewel picker from Trinity Stamps as well. And uh, I will just make sure that I have some glue there and put them down. And I will speed this up quite a bit because I put down so many. 
but I thought this really brought the scene together with the magic touch here of all of these small stars and I wanted them to be around like the little fairies once uh, sort of making it look like they are spreading magic to the world um, or that was my take on it anyway so we are soon finished with this project i hope you liked it i will leave links down below for all of the products that i used in this uh, card and if you liked it please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and until next time have a great day bye